गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई विल डिस्कस ऑन द टॉपिक इकोनॉमिक्स पीपल एज ए रिसोर्स इन द सेक्शन ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स पॉपुलेशन ऑफ अ नेशन कैन बी इट्स एसेट्स रादर देन लाइबिलिटीज पीपल एज ए रिसोर्स रिफर्स टू अ कंट्री वर्किंग पीपल इन टर्म्स ऑफ देयर एग्जिस्टिंग प्रोडक्टिव स्किल्स एंड एबिलिटीज when existing human resource is developed by becoming educated and healthy it turns into human capital human capital is superior to other resources like land and physical capital as it uses these capitals and adds values to them invest in human capital education and medical care can give high returns in the future country like japan have invested a lot of, a lot in human resources they don't have rich natural resources but still they are called developed nations human beings perform many activities which can be grouped into economic and non economic economic activities refer to those activities of man which are under taken for a monetary gain Are to satisfy his or her wants. The activities of workers, farmers, shopkeepers, manufacturers, doctors, lawyers, taxi drivers, etc., fall under this category. Market activities and non-marketing activities. Economic activities are also called as marketing market activities. Non-market activities are production of self-consumption. i would like to talk about non economic activity non economic activities are ones that are not undertaken for any monetary gain these are called up unpaid activities example examples puja path housekeeping helping the poor or disabled classification of economic activities various economic activities can be classified into three main sectors the that is primary sector secondary sector and tertiary sector the primary sector includes activities like agriculture forestry animal husbandry fishing poultry poultry farming and mining in the sector goods are produced by exploiting nature in the second sector manufacturing small and large and construction activities are included the territory sector are also called service sector provides various types of services like transport education banking insurance health tourism etc in india traditionally there is division of labor between men and women activities of women generally look after domestic affairs like cooking of food washing of clothes cleaning of utensils housekeeping and looking after children after that i would like to talk about human capital human capital is the stock of skill and productive knowledge in bodies in human beings population human beings become human capital when it is provided with better education training and health care facilities quality of population the quality of population depends upon the literacy rate life expectancy and skills formation acquired by the people of the country after that i would like to talk about role of education education is the most important component of human resource development it contributes towards the growth of the society enhances the national income cultural richness and increases efficiency of governance in view of its contribution towards the growth of the society government expenditure on education as a percentage of gdp rose from 0.64% in 1951 up to 52 3.98% 3 in 2002 and 3 however our national goal is 6% of gdp literacy is an event between males and females males are more literate it also varies with urban and rural areas urban population is more literate compared to rural there were 7.68 lakhs schools by 2004-5 but education is diluted by the poor quality of schooling and high drop over states rates sarv shiksha abhiyan is a significant step towards 
providing elementary education to all children below the age of 14. After that, I would like to talk about health. Health is another very important component of human resource development. Efficiency of workers largely depends on their health. There has been considerable improvement in the country's health standards. For instance, the life expectancy at the time of birth in India rose from 37.2 years in 1951 to 63.9 years in 2001. Similarly, infant mortality rate has come down from 147 to 47 by 2010. Infant mortality rate is the death of the child under our under one year of age. India has built up a vast health infrastructure, but still much more is needed to be done. Unemployment is said to exist when people who are willing to work at the prevailing wage rates cannot find job. When we talk of unemployed people, we refer to those in the age group of 15 to 59 years, children below 15 years of age, and the people, people above 60 are not considered while counting the numbering of unemployment. Nature of unemployment in India. Seasonal unemployment occurs when people fail to get to work during some month of the year. That is during off season. Farm laborers usually face this kind of problem. Disguised unemployment is another kind of unemployment found in rural areas. Such kind of problem arises due to excessive pressure of population on agriculture. Disguised unemployment refers to a situation where in the number of workers in a job is more than actually required to the job. The extra number of workers are disguisedly unemployed. Increase in Unemployment is an actor, is an indicator of depressed economy. Consequences of unemployment. Unemployment leads to wastage of manpower resource. Unemployment tends to increase the economic overload, that is dependence of the unemployed on the working population. Third one, unemployment may lead to increase in social unrest and tension. People as a resource, which has been considered under this topic is very important, which has been discussed today. Students are advised to do NCRT based questions as well as other questions in notebook. Thank you.